Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will solve another type of parallel force system problem. So here, we have to find the resultant of the forces system shown in the figure. So again, we are going to find out the resultant of the forces. Now, to start with the problem. Here again, so we have two forces acting upward and two forces acting downward. So they have given the distance and all. Okay. So the very first step is would be find out find resultant. So to find the resultant, we know the formula that R is equal to summation of all the forces acting on the system. So R is equal to summation of all forces. That means so 200 which is acting downward. So we can take it as a negative. Again, the third second force it is acting downward 300 again it is negative. The third force which is acting upward that is a 300 that is a positive. And one more force the last force it is acting upward so it is also positive. So if you look at the every forces is getting cancelled out. If you see this minus 200 plus 200 minus 300 plus 300. So we are getting resultant as 0. What does it mean? So, we do not have any force, so we do not have any resultant force system, but we do have some other thing. Okay, what is that some other thing? So, since our resultant is 0, since R is equal to 0, the resultant may be, the resultant may be a couple, may be a couple. So, we do not have a single force that is a resultant because the result is already 0. So, instead of finding the resultant, we have to find the resultant, but that could be a couple. So, that we have to take. So, now we have to find out the couple. Second step would be to find the value of couple, value of couple. Okay, so, to find the value of couple, couple, we have to take the moment about all forces about the point O. So, we are going to take the moment, take moment of all forces about point O, of all forces about point O. Okay. So, now, so this is our point O and again, so if you want to take the uh, couple at, uh, sorry, moment about point O, so we have three forces because this force will not come. Why do not come? Because the distance is 0, because there is no distance. It is uh, this force acting at the point O, the part is acting at the point O, so that we will not get any distance. So, we have to include all three other forces. So, to frame the equation of moment of summation of M O suffix O, this will be equal to, so this is acting downward so it will make a clockwise direction about point o so it is a clockwise that means we can take it as a negative and this distance into 2 the second force which is acting upward that is a 300 so this will make a anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise means we have to take positive so this will be positive and the distance from the origin is 5 meter so this is 5 meter and the third force which is acting upward which is, which is also makes a clockwise direction which is also positive. So, now the distance is the entire distance is 5 plus 2 7 meter. So, we have all the informations now we can frame the equation. So, the first force that is minus 300 into 2 meter. So, add plus then that is a second is a positive. 300 is act, acting clockwise direction. So, sorry to write this is a negative a multiply 300 into 5 and the last one again positive 200 into 7. So, if you do calculation, so we will get the moment as about point will as 2300 Newton meter. So, since it is a positive, so we will have the anti clockwise direction. So, this is our moment that means this is our couple. Okay. So, in this problem, this was a different type of problem because here the resultant was 0 for the given force system the resultant was 0, but we found out that the resultant of the given force system is a couple. Okay. The resultant, the resultant of the force system was couple and what was the value of the couple? It was 2300 Newton meter is a couple. 
is a couple of 2300 Newton meter, which is a anti clockwise direction. Okay. So, now to place this couple, what we can do is again we can draw the uh, bar of 7 meter at this point O. So, at this point O, we have a anti clockwise that is a positive thing. So, we can draw like this. So, this is a resultant that is 2000 Newton meter. I hope you understood this problem, it was a typical problem. So, in this next lecture, you will try to solve different problem on the resultant of parallel force system. Thank you guys. Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will solve another type of parallel force system problem. So, here we have to find the resultant of the forces system shown in the figure. So, again we are going to find out the resultant of the forces. Now, to start with the problem, here again so we have two forces acting upward and two forces acting downward. So, they have given the distance and all. Okay. So, the very first step is would be find out find resultant. So, to find the resultant we know the formula that R is equal to summation of all the forces acting on the system. So, R is equal to summation of all forces that means so 200 which is acting downward. So, we can take it as a negative again the third second force it is acting downward 300 again it is negative. The third force which is acting upward that is a 300 that is a positive. And one more force, the last force, it is acting upward, so it is also positive. So, if you look at the every forces is getting cancelled out. If you see this minus 200 plus 200 minus 300 plus 300. So, we are getting resultant as 0. What does it mean? So, we do not have any force, so we do not have any resultant force system, but we do have some other thing. Okay, what is that some other thing? So, since our resultant is 0, since r is equal to 0, the resultant may be, the resultant may be a couple, may be a couple. So, we do not have a single force that is a resultant because the result is already 0. So, instead of finding the resultant, we have to find the resultant, but that could be a couple. So, that we have to take. So, now we have to find out the couple. Second step would be to find the value of couple, value of couple. Okay, so to find the value of couple, couple, we have to take the movement about all forces about the point O. So we are going to take the movement, take movement of all forces about point O, of all forces about point O. So, now, so this is our point O and again, so if you want to take the couple at, uh, sorry, moment about point O, so we have three forces because this force will not come. Why do not come? Because the distance is 0, because there is no distance. It is uh, this force acting at the point O, the part is acting at the point O, so that we will not get any distance. So, we have to include all three other forces. So, to frame the equation of moment of summation of M O suffix O, this will be equal to so, this is acting downward, so it will make a clockwise direction about point O. So, it is a clockwise, that means we can take it as a negative and this distance into 2. The second force which is acting upward that is a 300, so this will make a anti clockwise direction. So, anti clockwise means we have to take positive. So, this will be positive and the distance from the origin is 5 meter. So, this is 5 meter. And the third force which is acting upward which is, which is also makes a clockwise direction which is also positive. So, now the distance is the entire